битно да се промени мислението на явността. Генералният став за нас сексуалните работнички е много лъж. Мислят дека сме сусеба на кои други луѓе, како да не сме во оваа планета. Со муштерията кога сме, имаме насилство. Мислят ако сме сексуални работнички, дека платиле за услугата, дека може да прават што сакаат за нас. Полицијата, како прво, они треба да не штитат, па они на постеи народ, за да не ценат и да не поштуваат. Вака никакво поштување нема не од никога и ми ги лакува. За што не увреда? Ма некој тоа не го свати. Увек ка сити од гладни од негови рви. Hi, I'm Joanne Colan and I'm joined here by Maria Tosheva, who is the program director of HOPS, that stands for Healthy Options Projects Skopje. Maria is here working with Witness these past few weeks on a project that's a film talking about the rights of sex workers. Maria, thank you very much for spending this time to chat a little bit more in depth about your work. Um, tell me what is Healthy Options Project Skopje? What is HOPS? Um, Healthy Ob Option Project Skopje is a non-governmental organization, local uh, one, working in Macedonia, uh, mainly on uh, promotion on the rights of drug users, sex workers and their families in Macedonia. The problem with the sex workers and drug users and marginalized communities, exactly that, that, that's why we call them marginalized, because the state or the mainstream society doesn't see, uh, see those groups as an integral part of the society. So they use uh, different kind of measures to exclude them or to put them aside or to pretend that they don't exist. Uh, we see our, our role as a mediators, like to sensitize the institutions to be more flexible and to inc include the, the marginalized communities, but also marginalized community to go toward the institution, to rebuild this trust between uh, two partners and to, to start to communicate and uh, to move forward. So tell me about how Witness now plays a role in there. Well, in search for different kind of advocacy tools, uh, to address uh, the issues that we are facing. We heard about video advocacy, which is a specific tool uh, to bring the voices and uh, human uh, testimonies and destinies in front of the public and uh, to, to make a change, a change through direct and active participation. So, um, as Witness is organizing the video advocacy trainings for human rights activists all around the world, um, we as a HOPS applied, I passed a two week of intensive training, learning the basic thing of structuring a video advocacy campaign and learning the skills to use the camera and how to implement it on the field. Uh, then in January, uh, the witness staff came again to Macedonia to, um, to bring the equipment, which was very important because we were uh, filming with concealed identities, so it was a specific equipment to, to manage to fulfill the task, uh, to give a broader training to more people from HOPS and coalition partners and sex workers themselves also, uh, and to start filming on the fields. So here I am here in Witness, working six weeks intensively on editing the final product, the video on sex workers and their rights. The video itself, when we're talking about human rights activism and human rights violations, what difference does it make? Why video? In our case, it was the, the, the safest opportunity to bring the sex work, workers' voices into the places and surroundings there, otherwise they will not enter. Uh, this is the first time that these women are having opportunity to speak directly to the, to the people in power, and also to advocate for themselves, to say what is their vision about it, how do they feel about it, what do they think about it. Because usually the laws and the policies and the strategies are built for the people, but without asking the people actually, how do they feel about it. The film is part of a larger campaign. I'd love to hear a little bit about what you hope to achieve with the campaign and what are some of the other things that, that are involved. The video will be used in the campaign surrounding the 17th of December, 
which is International Day to End Violence Against Sex Workers. So the video itself speaks about the violence and the goal is to raise awareness of that violence and to serve as a starting point for discussion what is going on in Macedonia or in the region or in the world and how can we all uh, combine our efforts to decrease that violence because the basic human rights is uh, to live in a life free of violence, free of stigma and free of discrimination. Maria, thank you so very much for taking the time to share all of this information with us. It's been really, really insightful and um, really good luck continuing the work that you do. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. It was a pleasure. You're welcome, you're welcome. And so to learn more about the film and to learn more about HOPS and the work that Maria has been doing with Witness, please go and visit witness.org. Thank you very much.